Привет, товарищи! Welcome to the Random Outside. Today I'm going to show you how to make a red brick advanced rocket stove. And it's very simple. What you'll need is 24 of these red bricks. This is for demonstration purposes only. You don't necessarily have to have one of these. You can use it just the bare ground to build this stove on top of. This is just so you guys can see it more clearly. The last piece, so 24 bricks, and the, the next thing that you'll need is a, a wire mesh, uh, some kind of a grate, uh, or you can do what I do, and just a simple, this is aluminum, a piece of aluminum that I just poked a whole bunch of holes through. You know, whatever is uh, on hand, whatever you can come up with. It doesn't have to be fancy, just something for the air to pass through as you're building a fire on top of this. All right, so let's get to it. One of the bricks you're gonna need to take and cut or break in half like this. Uh, you can use a hammer or a saw, whatever you have on hand. If anything, you can just use the butt of your rifle to crack this in half. So where we're gonna start, one full brick lengthwise this way, and then one half brick right here in the back. And then two more right here. So right now we should have the C formation right here. And we're gonna leave the front right here open. Then we're gonna take and put our grate down. This is gonna create an air pocket right here. <clears throat> and what we're gonna try to do is to cover up all these seams with the bricks if we can, if it's possible. There you go. I'm keeping all the clean edges close together and I'm using the broken side on the outside because it doesn't really much matter on that side. Okay? And with the rest of them, we're going to start covering up. And it takes exactly four bricks to make a level. You're going to notice I have one brick left over. The purpose of this one brick is to keep it on the outside. And you can kind of, you can either block, you can kind of block your air vent underneath the fire because your fire is on top. You can kind of block it. The way you can kind of slow the fire down or speed it up by completely removing, removing it. This is basically your air intake. And how this works is since you built the fire, he always rises to the top so this kind of like a smokestack is going to create suction and it's going to be pulling upward and pulling air in through the side because this is the only spot that has an opening and this is why we need a brick right here to regulate the airflow okay let's put some firewood and some kindling in there and uh, let's start this thing the crazy russian hacker who's actually videotaping me has been very nice enough to make a nice little pile over there. Thank you, man. No problem. <laughs> Let's. I'm gonna help you start it. So right now, what we're doing is all this uh, little wood chips. We're trying to put them at the very bottom. And right there. Um, maybe if we can get some dry leaves. Maybe just a couple of dry leaves in there. To help start it. But once we have a nice bed. We're gonna put in some of these, some of these pieces in there. Wanna put some of them from the sides? Yeah. Another thing that I was gonna tell you guys, you don't have to have specifically 24 bricks. You can have more or less, but this is the beginning of the optimum height because you do have to have some height for this to work correctly. As you guys can see, I'm using one of the world's best survival tools, the Bic Lighter. There we go. Wow, it's like the fire pulling in inside of it. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Why is that? Uh, the air vacuum. That's yeah. why chimneys work really well. Nice. 
and the smoke coming out from the top. <clears throat> a fire is a very fragile thing, but once you have it started, it's a very powerful. So the fire is nice and warm and it's going really strong. And the crazy Russian hacker actually showed me a really cool life hack I can do with this, or technically a survival hack. Just take a brick, pick it up, and pick up the other side. Because anytime we want to put something, you know, like we want to boil some water, typically you're going to want to use some kind of metal grate, steel or iron or whatever you can come up with. But this life hack is going to do us just great. You can actually see it boil in there. We have about two cups of water in there and it's already boiled. It took about, what would you say, about six, seven minutes yeah. tops. We actually had to remove the two bricks because the the can was just a little bit too high and it was just letting the heat escape but still a good hack nevertheless and you guys can see the coals in there are just a nice nice red color this is exactly what you want and you can toast it with cheese good on the top right here as you guys can see the bricks are nice 260 average so there you guys have it. This is how you make a red brick advanced rocket stove. Very simple. Big shout out to the crazy Russian hacker. Thanks for coming out. No problem. And helping me build this. That was fun. Always <laughs> fun. I put him to work. He made all the firewood for the shots. Yep. And he just did a little filming. And, and he did a lot of filming. So big, thanks a lot, man. Just a couple of things about this stove. You can always make the stove bigger. This particular size, it was nice, it, it burns really quickly, so you're going to have to keep feeding it really fast uh, and have a constant supply of wood on hand. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you putting inside a tent or anything like that because it does have sparks that come out the sides. If you guys uh, seen and, and watched closely, you can see the sparks kind of coming off. So you don't want to burn your tent down, so don't build one of these inside your tent. Outside is just great. The wind and rain does not affect this thing at all. So that's really nice with the air vacuum and how it works. But you can always make this bigger. If you guys like this design, go ahead and ch check out the Crazy Russian Hackers. He has an awesome cinder block design that's really amazing. And he helped as well. Oh yeah, so I'm in that video as well. You guys go ahead and check it out. It's amazing. And as always, thank you for watching and until next time. See you later.